Well, good evening once again. Day 29 of the Biden administration. Somewhere between four and five million of our fellow Americans in the state of Texas are suffering through a third frigid night without power, heat, in many cases without running water or food. It is straight up the 1800s tonight in parts of Texas, families using candles for light, melting snow for water, burning cardboard, and in some dire cases, burning their own busted up furniture to stay warm. Arctic cold delivered by two storms has created disastrous conditions, blanketing much of Texas in snow and ice while plunging parts of the state into deep freezing cold. That was nature's role in this. The rest can be attributed to the humans who run what passes for the Texas power grid. Many homes have been without power since the beginning of this week and have no indication of when it will come back on. Now the people there are doing whatever they can to survive. Well, it started, um, see I have three cats and a dog, some kids. We lost power, put the kids in a different location with family members, and then um, we've just been sleeping in the closet with my pets. Uh, by candlelight, we put um, a sheet up over the door. But today, it's just, we've got, we're trying to get out to Plano to my parents' house. It's just ridiculous. Every, can't find gas anywhere. I don't even know what city I'm in right now, to be honest. That's how people are living tonight. This afternoon, one Texas member of Congress painted a dire portrait of the situation, saying members of his district, his constituents, are now facing a harsh reality. We are facing a real crisis here in Dallas where folks are worried about things like hypothermia, uh, carbon monoxide poisoning. We have some folks who've been without power uh, since Sunday night. We don't have, I think, an accurate idea of when all the power will come back online. Because Texas is the only state that has its own power grid. These failures are failures of our state government, uh, failures of our regulatory uh, agencies, and failures of our power generators to prepare for this. As Texas utility officials struggle to get the power grid back online and explain all this, the state's Republican governor decided this would be a good time to blame renewable energy for the outages. This shows how the Green New Deal would be a deadly deal for the United States of America. Texas is blessed with multiple sources of energy, such as uh, natural gas and oil uh, and nuclear, as, as well as uh, solar and wind. Uh, but you saw from what Trace said, uh, and that is our wind and our solar got shut down, and, and they were uh, collectively more than 10 percent of our power grid. Uh, it just shows uh, that fossil fuel is necessary uh, for the state of Texas as well as other states to make sure that we were, uh, will be able to heat our homes in the wintertime and cool our homes in the summertime. So he floated out that theory. The Washington Post points out, quote, the governor's arguments were contradicted by his own energy department, which outlined how most of Texas's energy losses come from failures to winterize the power generating systems, including fossil fuel pipelines. Indeed, today, during an update on the power situation meant for a Texas audience, Abbott tried to explain his false claims. The fact is, every source of power the state of Texas has access to uh, has been compromised because of the ultra cold temperature or uh, because of equipment failures. What I made clear uh, was the fact that if we relied solely upon green energy, that would be a challenge. Uh, but in Texas, uh, we do not rely solely upon green energy. We have access uh, to all, all sources of energy. That's what he made clear. Another Texas official's response to his community's questions about the power outages appear to have cost him his job. Here's how the now former mayor of Colorado City, Texas, Tim Boyd, reacted to their inquiries Tuesday on a Facebook post that has since been taken down. Quote, no one owes you or your family anything, nor is it the local government's responsibility to support you during trying times like this. Only the strong will survive and the weak will perish. Already tonight, Republicans in, in our world and our nation where everything gets divided up, uh, red and blue. When we look around Texas, when people look for folks to blame, all you can see is uh, ours after people's names. Uh, but a lot of the Republicans are trying to stay on brand. This came out of uh, Minority Leader McCarthy's office in the House. Those watching on the left,
may see the situation in Texas as an opportunity to expand their top-down radical proposals. Two phrases come to mind. Don't mess with Texas and don't let a crisis go to waste. He also subtweeted uh, Governor Perry's comment that Texans would be without electricity for longer than three days to keep the federal government out of their business. Uh, Governor Perry said, partly rhetorically, uh, I would love it if all of us could use that partly rhetorically following any comments uh, we make in the public sphere. Uh, Peter, uh, I'm just wondering when there comes recriminations uh, for this, uh, what will happen? Because the list is long. Well, that's right. Look, you know, what we see here, unfortunately, during a crisis is in addition to actually trying to tackle the substance of the issue and put power back on and get people some uh, warmth and, and, and power back in their homes, we see immediately uh, both sides running to the ramparts. Democrats see an opportunity in, in Texas where report Republicans have been uh, in charge now for a number of years. Republicans, of course, as you saw with Governor Abbott trying to say this is a sign of why the Green New Deal wouldn't work when, in fact, you know, with the natural gas uh, uh, infrastructure as, as much as anything else that's in trouble because of the cold. So, you know, it's 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 very t typical, I hate to say, of today's political environment. Rather than deal with the crisis first and then come to uh, a rational debate later as to what caused it and what could be done to make it better, people immediately, uh, you know, are, are heading straight to the ideological uh, bunkers and, and, and shooting each other across the, the terrain. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.